What's up everybody? Okay, so today is the day that I just figured we would go through the comment section and read some of these comments. I mean, some of them are really crazy. And then some of them are, are kind of funny. I don't mind getting roasted. It happens. Look, okay, I'm a vet. We used to say harsher stuff than this, joking with each other, just having fun. So this isn't quite nothing, but it is kind of funny. I read these comments like every day when I get up. Like literally, I, I get on the YouTube studio app and I read them and some of them are just awesome. I love everybody. I, lo I even love the, the haters because they took the time to hate. But I think we can have a good time by just going through some of these and maybe roast back, you know? So in this video, we're gonna talk about these crazy trolls. We're gonna read some comments and we're gonna read some of the funny stuff. We're doing the best of trolls today. Here we go. I've tried. I've tried to always stay positive on this channel. I've always tried to have fun, have a smile, because I really enjoy making these videos. I literally, like, that's all I think about is how I can make these videos better. I even had a really good video in store for today. Me and Samantha went fishing, and I wanted it to be inspirational. And I really love all the comments I get. I love getting the comments and I like, you know, engaging with everybody and meeting everybody when I see them in public. It's so awesome that I, that I get to meet everybody. Cause to be on YouTube, you really have to have thick skin. You gotta just let it slide off. Just gotta let the haters hate. Cause it just makes your videos get bigger. How the hell we get ourselves into this? Oh, not what I want. But then you run into these guys. Here's the first comment. This guy says, your vids are S-H-I-T. Try to edit next time and you look like a retarded squirrel. If he only knew punctuation, that would be funny. Cause that video I did mess up a couple times. He got that one. He got it. Giving the props on that one, I'll give it to him. Ha! <laughs> got he! <laughs> got he! <laughs> but some of them I just don't understand. Like this one. And then there's this guy, okay. First rule of being a troll is you gotta spell stuff correctly and you gotta be grammatically correct unless you're responding. I set up a whole page on Facebook called Troll Thumper to where I dump all these comments so everybody can just ream them. It's kind of funny, you should check that out. But this one, why this dude look like a squirrel? It's does and hashtag grammar does matters. It just does, but I'm gonna let that one go too. I could not believe how much hate I got on my catch and cook shark video. Legal fish, cleaned in professional manner, cooked three ways, tasted amazing. But these people, like look at this guy. Your pe you people disgust me, you eat sharks, question mark, exclamation mark. Of course, I eat him blackened, grilled, I even got him on kebabs. And this year we won't cook way more sharks because shark is amazing if you haven't had it. Black tip shark, you gotta make sure you got your rules and regulations, black tip shark the best. They're everywhere on the Gulf Coast. There's plenty of them and ha you can have fun catching them. Probably one of the funnest fish out there to catch. And then there's the real hate like this one. You are disgusting and rude and abusive. I hope you, I hope you die eating animals. Exclamatives. Kill yourself self, and see what I feel for them. You wish somebody to die for eating a fish? Oh, this was a squirrel. You wish somebody to die for eating a squirrel? I'm sure this person eats hot dogs and chicken and salads. I don't get it. I don't get it. Teach their own. I'm sure this person's like eight years old. All right, this guy, this guy right here. I refuse. I refuse and I'm done wasting calories talking to you. Goodbye. Okay, so this guy, he had commented like probably 15 times on my squirrel video. And I was just sitting there and I was bored and I was like after a glass of wine or whatever and I was like, I'm just gonna poke at this guy. And so I commented back and he commented like 15, 20 times, no joke. And it ended with me. I basically told him, you're the reason why I'm gonna catch and cook another squirrel, which I did. 
And he was like, well, I'm gone, I'm gone, goodbye. And I was like, well, I was going squirrel hunting the next day anyway, so you just made me make some more squirrels. I think we did that uh, dumplings, the, the catch and cook squirrel dumplings right after that. It was a good, it was a good video, I had a good time making it. Props, Taylor, props. Thanks for pushing me to make that video. <laughs> All right, so this guy, Jeremy, Jeremy Pag Paget. Like, I didn't get this, right? So, he went on Facebook and started, like, reaming me, right? And, of course, I didn't respond because, yeah. But he was calling me out for making that Googans video, which I thought was funny. I tried to do it in a funny manner. I, I even... I even told him, called myself a Guggen because I've done stupid stuff. We've all done stupid stuff. It was just lighthearted joking. I thought it was funny. Everybody thought it was funny. Most of those videos were on like 10 different Facebook pages. You could have got them from anywhere. And he calls me out for for stealing stuff off his Facebook page, which he stole everything on the page. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! And then, then tried to blame me for stealing it from his page, which I didn't even steal from his page. I got a couple, which I said I got this from the Emerald Coast Googans or whatever. But the other people had ripped them from there. You could even see the line bars where it had been ripped off a page and covered up and then screenshotted. Like, that's, that's why the format was so crazy on this stuff. Y'all have got to realize it's fair use policy. Anything that's on the internet is fair use. It was ripped by somebody else which ripped it by somebody else which used it. I don't know what's the big deal on that one. I thought it was funny. Good one, Jeremy, but you failed on that one because the dude Adam down here actually said, a lot of stuff that the people post on here is a repost from other pages, sites, for your information. Nailed it! <laughs> I can't be good at all. Sure, great! Don't wait for me! That's when a troll gets trolled right back for his own post. But hey, you know, I appreciate the comment. Everybody over there, you know, talking about me. I didn't know I did anything wrong. I thought it was funny. Everybody thought it was funny. It was lighthearted. You know, I love when people roast me back because I was roasting somebody. He said that I don't have actual footage of, of the area. Find local footage. There's 450 videos on my page of local footage. I don't get it. Still love them though. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 read some good ones. Let's read some good ones. Okay, I gotta find some good ones. Oh, oh geez, here's another one. I'm gonna slap this dude in the face with a slice of ham. I'll be your huckleberry. Say when. Say when. I'm your huckleberry. Why, Johnny Ringo, you look like somebody just walked over your grave. If it's not with you, Holiday. I'll beg to differ, sir. We started a game we never got to finish. I was just fooling about. I think it's a chick, Audrey McClellan. Love the comment. Thanks for taking time to comment me. But I was cooking a squirrel, not a ham. I'd take some ham. I like ham. Ham's good. You know, I used to delete these comments, and then I was like, well, how can I use these comments? So I put, started putting them on the Troll Thumper page. I was deleting them because they were so vile, and there were so many cuss words on these things. And, and like, you know, I was like, man, these people are rude. And then I was like, well, I'll just leave them because, I mean, why respond to the trolls? Every once in a while I'll get in a mood and I'll comment back to them, but it's really better not to feed the trolls because they're just bad to begin with. And I think a lot of these come from the, like when, when a page gets posted on the PETA forums and all the liberal way left that don't eat meat and then they wanna go and like make terrible vile comments to everybody that does eat meat and then these people show up. But I just don't get it, like why why even watch the video if, if you don't like it. It said it was about cooking squirrels. So why I come to a cooking squirrel video and just like throw hate? I just don't, I haven't understood that yet. Or like this one. This guy says there are barely any sharks left. You effing, you know what head. All right, I gotta I got I gotta cut this stuff out because YouTube will hate on me. Everybody will be mad. I'm trying not to cuss. Even though I'm a veteran, I cuss like every other word because army hook. And then I had to tell this guy, false, go study up. I actually put the link to the law in this video just so people wouldn't do this. But a black tip shark is probably one of the most popular, populous, populated like sharks on the Gulf Coast. They're everywhere. You just run into them. You can't even throw a bait down on a rig without hitting, hooking up with a bull shark or a black tip. So I don't know why they get this stuff. And they're like, what up? You know, this is what up? Crazy. I don't know. One person liked it. It's a one-up like. 
But enough of those mean comments. I want to find, let's find a good comment, which lately I haven't been getting too many of those. They're all like people just being mean. Here's a guy, he liked it. Harrison Walker, very funny vid, thanks, I like it. Great dude right there, awesome dude. It's the same video that the guys on Facebook bashing me. I liked it, I liked your post. Thanks for the comment, bro. Thanks, Harrison, just responded. Or this one, I love it, Nathan Van Pruyen. Googans, stealing that. I also like the credit card captains for stealing the rental crap. You are enjoying this topic way too much, ha ha ha. See, he gets it. This was meant to be funny. We're all just laughing amongst the community, the fishing community, the boating community. We're just having fun. I don't know why everybody's gotta be so serious and mean and vile and throw stuff around. Like, one, you have to smile on fishing. Two, if you're not having fun, what's the point of being out there? This is like a stress reliever and a relaxer. Three, like, I don't even know why, like, people fight over fishing, like, fishing spots. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a spot of water, and there's like, like, hundreds of miles out there. I've never been one to like really worry about somebody being on my spot or stealing my spot. Heck, all my spots are on my YouTube channel. These fish migrate. They're not there very long. There's plenty of space. The three mile bridge is three miles long. I, I don't understand why everybody gets so worked up over their spot. I don't know. This is animal abuse. No, bro, it's dumplings. I was cooking squirrel dumplings. Got it wrong. And this guy says, why do you eat a shark? What the blank did it do to you? It bit my hook, that's what it did, and it tried to steal it. I got it back, and I cooked him for it. And this, like, anonymous dude, whatever, like, he was bad, and he told me to die. I don't know why he did that. He told me to die, but I had to comment back, and I was sarcastic. Sorry for that. I mean, why? Why do they tell me to die? I haven't done anything to him. I've never met this guy before. I just ate a squirrel that was eating my garden. He was eating my garden. Got that on video where he was eating my garden. It was this video right here. But anyways, guys, I just thought I would walk through this, this, this comment section with y'all so y'all know what I deal with on a daily basis. I love all you guys even though some of you hate on me. It's all in good fun. Some of it's probably not, but I think it's all in good fun. I've only had like two people knock on my door recently. Five death threats. Some random packages show up. But you know, well, some of them was some really nice stuff. Thanks for the candy guys, thanks for the birthday cards. By the way, I forgot to say thanks for the birthday cards if you're watching. And if you, gotta, you ever wanna send me any mail, send it to the PO box in the description. If you've read some of these crazy comments or you, you feel the, the pain or you're a YouTuber and you know the pain. And if you're an aspiring YouTuber, this is what you get. Even though I get a lot of awesome comments and I meet a lot of awesome people, all you guys out there know who that is. You're awesome, thanks for everything, thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys on the next video when I post the good video that I meant to post today. <laughs> see you later, guys.